Don't you worry, don't you worry, child See, heaven's got a plan for you Don't you worry, don't you worry now Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and this is your weekly horoscope forecast for the sign of Leo for the week of June 4th through the 10th, 2018. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is the very first time that you're tuning in, please go ahead and take the opportunity to hit the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon, so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. That being said and done, let's go ahead and get into your horoscopes. So this week for you, Leo, a lot of you could be feeling like there is some type of um, situation right now in your life where you were not seeing any kind of, you know, um, some, you know, some kind of light. It was a lot of darkness. Um, this could be other people around you who have carried a lot of darkness or have hurt you in some kind of way. And so some, in some kind of way, karma is now, you know, playing and um, it's very much in the forefront. So a lot of you could be seeing karmic justice being served to, you know, anybody that has hurt you, anyone that has, you know, really um, not been very, you know, good to you uh, and, you know, has caused a lot of pain. So don't dwell on that, kind of focus more on the positive. A lot of you also could be feeling like you need some time out, you're very tired or exhausted, and this would be very, this would make a lot of sense because a lot of you Leos out there have been working extremely hard, you know, going, 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 work is everything to you and affection is everything to you as well. So a lot of you need to start practicing self-love, self-care, and if you're not feeling, you know, your love being reciprocated by somebody else, you need to be very vocal and not shy away from shy away from that and just let them know that you know that you are you know how you feel and that you do feel like you're putting too much time and energy into maybe that relationship or situation and you're not getting anything in return the feelings are not they don't feel you know authentic or reciprocated by this person so you just need to be very vocal but a lot of you would be you know moving away from um things that are no longer serving you this week um this could be you know um, not necessarily ending a friendship, but kind of creating distance or just waiting for that, um, you know, if you're in a relationship and someone has been hot and cold, you just, you know, you will be in that position where you're just going to kind of, you know, sit back and wait for them to take the next, make them make the next move and, you know, reach out to you. Kind of, you know, be strong physically and uh, spiritually. This is going to be very difficult because, again, a lot of you think with your heart and you let your heart sometimes get the best of you. So you're just going to have to be very strong. But a lot of you also are going through transformations. You're growing. You're, you know, you're just experiencing life now. Uh, so a lot of you that maybe have didn't experience things, you know, the 20 year olds experience, you know, and you're now in your 40s or 50s, don't worry. You know, the age is just a number. You have a lot, you know, of time to experience anything, you know, and everybody experiences different things, not necessarily in the same age group or in the same, you know, time frame. So a lot of new experiences can come, you know, towards you. The one area of caution that I would give for this week for a lot of you, um, out there is not to fall into, into temptation. Uh, there could be a situation, whether this was um, a, a bad habit that you used to have or people who used to hang around that had a bad habit, kind of uh, avoid that and not, you know, get tempted if you're surrounded by them or you're put in that circus circumstance or situation kind of isolate yourself away from that negativity and you'll know who's being negative and what situations are negative and not good towards you know your your spirituality and to who you are authentically so if there's anything that is challenging you um you know kind of just move away from it but uh, i want to thank you so much for tuning in if you did like this video again please give it a thumbs up also be sure to follow me on facebook and instagram and um if you'd like to set up a private reading with me and go to my website that's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop and uh, all of these links will be listed in the description box below have an amazing week blessings and love and light